Hey yo, what's up? What's up, what's up? I'm back. Sunday stream. Which I norm don't, normally don't do, but... What do you want me to do, man? This is a good game. I couldn't wait to play it again. Uh, man, this game looks like shit. <laughs> but, fucking awesome. Oh shit, what is that? Oh no, no, no. English. Alright, uh, let's see. Man, it does look like shit. I thought it was just my recordings. I was watching my recordings of, of my stream yesterday. And it does look like shit, but, um... Uh, it's not just my recording, it's the game. Oh, let me try this... Let me try this CRT mode. Another thing I want to check is the... That's something you're not gonna see. It's my local uh, user settings. I mean monitor. I feel like the game is dark on my main monitor, but I look over at my other screen, other monitor. The game looks okay there. It's not as dark. Oh wait, did I... I didn't apply. Fuck. Apply. CRT mode. Man, this, this looks bad, but I'll keep it for now. Fuck, that was loud. Alright, let me take a look at this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm changing my settings on my monitor to see need it bright all right okay we're good looks good now oh it's a little recap I'm hurt I have healing but I'm not gonna use it because I'm a professional player who needs healing I have an owl key so that's where I'm gonna go now Insert said owl key. Um, which is upstairs. I think it's that door. I can get there using the ladder. Man, I got trapped, fuck. I will use the ladder. I think it's here. Man, the moment you hit a wall, you stop in this game. It's crazy. You can't, like, slide against a wall like some games. Okay, use the owl key. Nice, I need that. Inspect, what do we have here? Broken music cassette. A portable audio tape player with a knife embedded in the speaker. That's not nice. Who killed the portable audio tape player? The knife? Another one? We got five of four. Uh, let me take a look at this. Looping multi-track magnetic audio tape cassette. Tape inside the cassette is torn. You don't say. 
I need to repair the magnetic tape inside the cassette before it can be play played again. Uh huh. Repair, how? Alright, let's see. I think we need to go back down. Uh, what is that door again? God, what's in there? Uh, let's go find out. Oh man, these guys are gonna wake up if I don't burn their bodies. Damn it. These these two. Okay, there's the door. Uh workshop key. The thing is now I need I need like a flashlight. There's a there's a couple of rooms that I couldn't explore because they're dark, like pitch dark, can't see shit. I think one of them is this one here. I think the dark rooms are like this one. There's a, there's a pattern. Like this, uh, I don't know what they call it, that diamond pattern? Triangles? Whatever. That indicates that the room is dark. Need to find uh, the light module. Oh man, this looks much better with CRT mode off. Keep that shit off then. Oh yeah, the game looks much better this way. What's up there? Island painting needs a key. I don't have any keys. Library key. Also, this one, this east hallway is also dark, I think. Or not. I haven't checked this one, huh? Can't hear me. Never mind. Oh, oh so this is a dark room. can't see shit, so... It's too dark to see. Okay, we need the flashlight. Even if there was something there, I can't- I couldn't pick it up or anything. Alright, uh... Alright, let's see here. It's gonna kill these guys. Close. 
What if... We can shoot them both. I aligned them perfectly. Holy shit! Wow, that actually worked! Get on, pussy! Damn, that was good. See me. Uh-oh. Cool. Maybe that's a new strat. They can't see me. Stick to the walls. Be calm. And exit. See what's here. Hummingbird key. Alright, stick to the walls, you'll be fine. There's a flashlight module. There it is. Nice. What? Oh, I need to use it. Shoulder mounted flashlight module powered by internal replica power supply when installed. Beautiful. Shoulder gun. Light gun. Makes the user more visible to enemies when turned on, but allows to see and interact with objects and doorways and dark room. Now it's equipped. And then I can turn it on and off. Cool. Wunderwaffen. Unseer nation. Super weapons of our nation in the battle against the Empire, Falk units. Falk means Falcon. I know. This guy again, fucking Adler. Administration, Dayton, Verar, Betung, what the f Logistic replica, Adler. Um, I already read this, just generic info about the Adler. Series An integral part of every protector Fuhrung's commando is the administrator unit. A single Adler unit can manage and oversee all administrative tasks for an entire facility, uh, freeing other operational command units to focus on the direct control of protector units. The Adler is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falk unit. Serving as her adjutant, 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 by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculation. Ah, shit! Turn off the lights, man. Damn it! Makes you more noticeable. Turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, these are the stairs, like a shortcut. I can open this yellow door. Cool. Adler bedroom. That's where I was just now. 
I need to check that other door and then open this one. Shortcut. And then I need to empty my inventory. It's full again. Damn it. Six slots only? And a cheap. In up upgrade. Need a fanny pack or two. Right. Damn it, dude! Give me a break. I'm gonna run for it. Ow! Dummy. Stupid bitch. Mm, I should probably heal. It's the... the what? Main shaft access elevator. I need an administrator key. Go! Alright, so that was the shortcut. can go up and maybe go back to the save room pick up some items or store some items to make more room yeah let's do that then we're gonna explore the dark areas the dark rooms Passing through, mind me. All right, I'll put this uh, broken cassette tape, put it back. Uh, let's see. Can't wait to get the revolver. Can't wait for that. Alright. wake up. Do not. Shit. There's two of them. <laughs> Island key? Oh, that goes in, into that portrait. Libri in the management office. One of the Colibris has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her and her illusions sitting inside the room, crying. Which one's the real one? I think it's because of, of that painting in there. Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. The sensation was strong enough to make her make me hurl. Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop. The frequency of her control signal. I think I killed that one already. Like a monster with a big fucking head. And what seems like three of its images or duplicates. What? Vinetta. Radial of Humanity, Vinetta. Nice and easy now. No sudden movements. You okay? Just no sudden movements. Do anything stupid now.
and sneak behind her. Yeah, I need to kill. Ah, shit, no room. And this inventory space is killing me. I can destroy ammo. But why would I do that? Fuck. I wonder if she can notice the flashlight from behind. Let's see how how close can I get with my flashlight turned turned on. How close can I get to her from behind? Oh shit! Not that close. need to go back again make some room for that uh, there was an item there damn it a lot of legwork oh no did they wake up should use the pistol now. I got plenty of pistol ammo. I'm, I'm gonna store the shotgun. Take the pistol. Pistol ammo. And... I think I'm gonna need to use healing. Just one. We can go to that island room and open, use the key to open the thing. Which will free up one slot. Shit. Island key. There you go. Workshop key. Nice. Sixth floor. On the sixth floor. Workshop key. Uh, that's above us. Workshop. This one here. Okay. slow I can also re uh, check out this repair bay while I'm here changed it didn't look like this what the fuck it didn't look like this yesterday or is it a different place i'm thinking of
Oh, I'm pretty sure it's that same room. The floor changed. It's red now. What the heck? Maybe that was a different room, never mind. Maybe I'm thinking of another completely different room on a different floor. Uh, let's see if I remember. Oh, never mind. I think I was thinking of this room here. It's this big one, East Corridor. Star? Storch? Security Technician Replica. Storch. Oh man, they all woke up. What the hell? Star. Starling, 2.20 cm. Nice and easy. happened here no space come on man space where's the music playing Cool, shooting range. Weapon case. Oh shit, is that the Magnum? Adhesive tape. Oh my god, I can't carry shit. What the fuck? Uh, I guess I can use the healing here. I'm full HP now. Sixty out of sixty star hunter 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 fifty two out of sixty forty five out of sixty storage seabin thirty two out of sixty what is this like the, like their target target practice score tank hunter model seems to be doing the best performing the best I practice Yeah, waste your ammo, that's a good idea. I have a bunch of shit here now. Need to choose which one I want to pick up first. I only have one room. Damn it. I think I'll get the adhesive tape. Gonna use that to fix that um, set tape we found. I might as well also open the workshop since I'm already here. Whoa! Floor monster. Dude, she she doesn't see me. Damn, she's blind. Whoa. She had to get really close to see me. What the fuck? Weird.
That's the workshop. Replica Known Issues Part 2 Classified Information Commander Eyes Only Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Star Despite their normally laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit or promoting a unit low in status can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in group, in group rules involving physical punishments. It is recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. STCR Star Storch units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after de deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models, failing to do so may yield an extremely vi volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. And violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with all older star units. Storch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. Showering. Stabilizes their personality by showering, huh? Those must be the, the ones in the shower. Storch series. Oh boy, what do we have here? Audio tape deck unit wired up to the broadcasting unit. If I had an audio cassette, I could probably have its content broadcast on the radio. Oh. I need the cassette. Alright, I'll be back. Uh, I need to go... Up. Or down. Can we go down? I go up. No. From six, you can't go up. All right, so we go down. Busy. Not now, Nancy. All right, I'm gonna have to empty my bags this time. I'm, I'm gonna remove these stun prods. I'm gonna travel light. In the cassette tape. the cassette tape, combine. Alright, we fix it with adhesive tape. What does it say? It says Owl Song? 
Owl songs. The cassette seems to be a part of a set of songs popular with Yule units. Owl song. Am I an owl? Am I an owl type? Alright, so now I want to go back up into the workshop, then I can check the, the tape, listen to the owl song. Small radio broadcasting unit. It's set up to broadcast the tape, tape decks, input signal, and frequency 142. Can we change it? No. I think we're done. We just need to tune in to 142, then we can listen to it. And we use this near that. Remember that lady? There was a lady lying on a bed holding something, a box that's shaped like an owl. And it has a microphone on it. Need to go there and use our radio to listen to the owl song near that microphone. What's the frequency again? 140? Alright, cool. So now we just need to do that there. That room. Uh, but before we do that, let me go and grab... There's a lot of shit I left behind. Go pick it up. I have three slots. I'm not sure if that's even enough. Sneaky bitch. A secure storage box for pistol sized firearms locked with a small padlock. Einhorn Hunter, it's locked with a small padlock. Oh shit, do I need the key? Oh, I need to figure out how to open it. Probably has the. Uh, a magnum in it. Right. There's one more item here, it's an injector. No room.
I read this? Oh yeah. I've already dropped down here, right? Oh shit! Ah, what the fuck? Just walking through them attacks you? I mean, damages you? That's bullshit, man. Volver ammo, shotgun ammo, gun case. Beautiful. I'll get the stun prods now, you know, for safety. I think I want to go down now, downstairs into the owl room to open that owl box or whatever. Savvy, heal me. So we go down. Did I check this one? Storage door. I don't think I have. Shit, there's a bunch of dead bodies. Bedroom, did I check that? A lot of shit I need to check. Damn it, she hit me. Oh my god, they're waiting for me. Alright, I'm not going there yet. That room is loaded with zombies. thing here. Cool. Hummingbird key.
Cool tunes. This probably attracts them, like the, the sound. Most likely. Alright, we got the hummingbird key. Where does that go? Somewhere on this floor, I would say. Did you wake up? Damn it. Alright, we use the hummingbird key. Replica Kelber. Commando Lieutenant Bioresonance Technic Replica. Colibri. Commando Control Unit Bioresonance Technology Replica Hummingbird. Generation 6 High Tech Bioresonance Specialist. Height only 152 centimeter. Marvel of modern technology, the Colibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector, whatever, Falk unit is aided by a cadre of clever units, adjutants, which can amplify her bioresonant signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Colibris are one of the most effective protector units. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally, and communicate along among themselves instantly in, a f in the full bandwidth of the senses. The Colibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Um, scary. What? Not carry more. Four is the maximum. Eagle key, okay. Keep an eye, out, uh, eye on Adler, he's hiding something from us. There was nothing on his diary, but when I probed his, mind, probed his mind, there were memories of an LSTR unit working at Serpinski. There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. In order for a, single, for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. Maybe that was the commander on that bed. The one with the, the owl box. Is that a commander? Fuck. the frequency 84 84 shit probably shouldn't get too close what does it say Eighty-four. One oh eight. Maybe I can shoot him. But last time I killed him without shooting. One fifty.
Bro, what the hell? You're gonna die or what? STRB. What does that mean? Two forty nine Steer B. Gotta keep doing it till they drop. Gotta match their frequency or whatever. I wonder if I could have just shot him. You just need to know which one's the real one. Oh my god, more shit I can't carry. Come on, man. I really need bigger bags here. What key do I have? Um, Eagle. Eagle key, where does that go? Let's go find out. Don't come in here. She's blind. Adler bedroom. I use the eagle key. Cool. Oh, do you see this? Oh, what a mess. Almost as messy as my room. That's his diary. <clears throat> I have been uh, fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage A. Strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking. The clock. Without Calibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cadre. If uh, there ha there is anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. I want I want to see her today. But the room's still locked. I had a dream tonight, another memory of my Gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform, there was a young woman, her hair white as snow. And I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before. Some type of engineer with an orange chest piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Serpinski. Replica memory is not most reliable, they say, but never ha before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the Chaos Romney for so long. All the, uh, all the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. 
I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes. More sick, making my worker my work ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast. And any and for any attempts as treatment. At treatment. Another diary filled for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I have not ordered a new one yet since I spent my saved ration marks on that uh, marvelous looking fountain pen. But I guess I'll make use of that notebook. At the box he was talking about? There's a hole in the front of the box. It looks like something is missing from the mechanism. Alright, there's a box. Probably missing a key. Elster. Biomechanical with carbon fiber reinforced polyethylene shell and titanium skeleton. Isn't that me? I think I'm an Elster type. Land survey ship technician replica magpie. Wait, what the fuck is a magpie? A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital services. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration, which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with destruction of the central neural ar archive on Veneta, new Alistair units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. I am an LSTR. It says LSTR there. Bottom right. Hey, that's me. Shit, what's that? What's that red triangle? Looks like my left ass cheek is damaged. Damn it. Let's repair the ass cheek. Need a light to open the door. Shit. Alright, um I use the eagle key. There's a lot of items. Uh where was it? Here maybe? The clever bedroom. I forgot. Alright, so now where do I need to go? Let's see. Yeah, I think I need to clear this room now. The one with like three enemies in there. At least three. Healing. I'll use it. Anything in here? Yes. I know where to put that. Oh, 
Hardy is gone. Oh, let me... Is my ass cheek repaired? Damn, it's still red. Why is it red? My health is good, it seems. Alright, the box is all the way on B6. Post box. Alright, I can get there. Come this way. Fuck. Ah, fuck. Easy. Library key, okay. Go down to the library. Did I leave anything there? The repair bay? I think I picked up everything, right? I cleaned that room. Alright, so now we go back to the library. never learn, do they? They never learn. I have a lot of shit. 12 shotgun shells, 15 revolver ammo, auto injector, 4 rod. Oh, I think I left one of these. There was an auto injector back in that room. The one near the gun range. I think I'll be fine without it. You know what? I'll be fine. go down and open the library. Before we go in there,
think I left something here. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. we can check the library shit there's someone in there it's alive he's moving Mina the Mina type 260 centimeter holy shit they're the tallest so far I think generation th 3 industrial specialist mining nuclear tech high security replica Mina Biomechanical with high security reinforced armor plated servo shell. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the Mina uh, units with their high security power armor bodies, even in lethal radiation under crushing pressure and in zero G. They keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields, a standard generation 3 cranial construction. Excuse me. I feel a sneeze coming. Ah, maybe not. A standard generation 3 cranial construction, false alert, can be found, making maintenance and uh, social interfacing as easy as the other replica model. Please note that Mina neural pattern is not suited for combat use. For, for combat applications, the Sapper variant should be used, which employs a combat capable persona in the same frame. For more information, see Schwer Anti Panzer Replica Schnapper. That's the one I fought. Uh, that was like the first boss. Another puzzle. Sweet. Is this vending machine? System orientation. Alignment error. Use manual control. Oh, I need to... It's easy. Take it out. Now what? Give it to me. Astro lab, astro lab. Where did this come from? Oh, we did it. Strange clockwork-like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. Oh, this goes in the box. It seems like I think. Back of the device looks like it might slot into a bigger mechanism. It does. Hey. You a friendly sister? 
Give me those hands now, will you? Nice and slow. That's right. Alright. He's unarmed. Okay, we're good. Clever. Replica non issues part four. Great care should be given to colibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, colibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions to those of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral to persona degradation. <laughs> Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern de development in colibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will de drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission, decommission colibris instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, colibris should have access to well to a well-stocked library. So that's why this one's in library. Fix her a persona. Damn it, no space. Always no space. She moves her head when you get close. She looks at you. Look at that. Like, looks up at me. Hey, what's up? Who are you? You're not one of our staff. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we guided them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together, and I am here, outside. And they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I had become the, like the others too. At least then, I wouldn't be alone. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. I hate this. I hate this. Right, well, you keep sulking there. Skulking, sulking, whatever. I'll be on my way doing work. Oh, that's the box. There's... And go over there, open the box. See what's inside. I gonna figure this one out. Uh, hmm.
let's uh, let's just hit pause on that. Need more info. me just passing by just passing through all right now I have to clear this room the bunch of dudes here starting with that one She hit me twice. And she's back. I thought I had the, the fucking zapping thing equipped. <laughs> Kept fucking flashing her, what the fuck? Blind her with the high beam. Yes, give me that. Storch, 240 centimeters, blah, 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 generation 5. Each of cadre of protector security technicians is overseen by a controller unit. The most, the most common of which is the Stork type. One of the tallest replica models thanks to their extended legs. Storks uh, figuratively and literally keep a constant bird eye bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Uh, they're tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them the perfect fit as unwavering sentinels of order. Damn, what the fuck happened here? What did I pick up? There was no key item in here. Sure, some ammo, some healing. That's it.
There's no key item. Bunch of dead bodies. All right, so now I just need to figure out how to open that box. I think that's the only, only remaining thing to do. Star map, oh. Maybe this star map will tell us. I mean, there's the indicator here, the red, red uh, thingy. Star, star symbol. Is there a star symbol over there? Right, I know what to do. I just need to visit. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of that that uh, solar system thing, and then. Oh fuck, they finally woke up. I'll snap a picture using that snap model. And then take it up to that box and see if I can figure something out. Okay. Flashlight. Prod. Yep. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here, boys. I'm hungry. Know what I'm saying? I'm for lunch. Oh, we're gonna pick this up some other time. All right, so that's it for now. Appreciate it. Uh, you have a great Sunday now. See you next time. I'll be back later or tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for today. Signing off. Peace.